Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the first week in March, actually February 28th through March 6th, in my vertical planner that I use for wellness and fitness. Um, and the theme I'm going to go with, guys, is World Wildlife Day is the 3rd of March. And so um, you guys know I like, well, if you're new, you don't know, but I do like botanicals and nature and that kind of stuff for a, a calming, serene vibe in this particular planner. So also combining that with um, green being my favorite color and March feeling like a green month between the green in Mardi Gras and the green in St. Patrick's Day, um, I pulled this Kaiser Craft sticker book. It's, a, it's relatively speaking a little bit newer. It's called... Um, jungle and I have linked in the description box my favorite websites for getting these they're from down under um, from Kaiser Craft and they are hard to get in the US because they don't ship directly to the US they're from Australia so I have a couple websites that imports them and you can get them from there um, but this sticker book is just what you would think it's full of different shades of greens from like a, a more of a lime green to more of a blue green it's got these um, beautiful gorgeous cats big cats in them in it and lots of gold foil so I am going to use as much stuff out of this book as I possibly can I have pulled some girl boss Anna overlay tape swishies to use with my over here on the left and then um so these are my prompts. I already pulled them. I do have a video on how I make these prompts. I will link it in the cards up above. But basically, I just use any old spreadsheet program, a generic one or um, Excel, whatever you have, um, to print these, to turn this planner into um, basically the original Happy Planner Wellness and Fitness Planner. So, um, and I put these on every week. I should just go through the year and just put these all on so my pages are ready to go. At least these journaling prompts across the bottom row of boxes. Um, since I really hardly ever do anything special with them, I could go ahead and do that. Anyway, let's just get these put on there. So I am using the seasonal floral planner for my wellness and it does have purple. It's very pastel purple and I can mostly ignore it like these spots down the middle and all of this stuff over here is purple. Um, but I do, I think I want to, really the only one that is kind of sticking out to me is this purple down the middle. So I pulled this mint green washi tape with some foil. I got this in Japan, you guys. I absolutely adore it. I don't have a link for it. I got it there live when I was traveling years ago. But it's got some ombre foil from like a gold into a little bit more of an orangey. And I feel like this um, really kind of goes with the hints of gold well obviously there's gold foil in this book but when i see a sticker that's got um i don't know is that a cheetah or a leopard um on it in the midst of all the green i feel like this washi tape kind of has that same feel to it so we're going to put this down the spine to cover up those dots and it is a little bit transparent but it's not going to bother me you're not going to be able to tell so when you're laying your washi tape down like this don't pull it super tight pull it pull it tight enough to get it straight but not super tight because it doesn't seem like it but your washi tape is stretching just a tiny little bit and as soon as you trim it and let it go it contracts and that's what causes your page to curl i know those of you guys that are regulars you hear me say that all the time but hopefully i have new people joining me every week and we got to catch them up so I'll go ahead and punch this too. Okie dokie. So let's go ahead and uh, pick out the words that I like. So these are just little one word answers, positive word, reading, listening to, feeling. So let's pick out a positive word, something above keto, um, maybe a weekend banner, a couple things for across the bottom. So here we go. Here are some words. Oh, first I wanted to check to see if there were any quotes on the washi tape pages, the, the strip sticker pages like these. No, no quotes. So let's see what we got here. Positive word. Let's see. Feeling I'm going to go with so relaxed. Let's go with just do what makes your soul happy. 
It's a nice long one. I can put that across the bottom of one of these pages. So grateful for this moment. That's another nice long one I can put on here. Put it down on this side. I like believe in yourself. Actually, how about escape the ordinary for like a weekend banner? That's a good one. A little bit exotic. Make it happen. Let's put that above keto. And then positive word. How about adventurer? I like that because I try to go outside the box when I do my spreads and not just use the same old stuff that everybody else is doing. So it's kind of adventurous. Um, okay, so let's put our quotes across the bottom. I'm just going to center them under the columns. And same thing with this one. I picked the shorter one for over here because there's only three columns. Okay. And I'm not probably going to use a whole lot more washi tape because I feel like it's already a lot to have it down the spine. So let's go ahead and just put this weekend banner up here. So my top row of boxes is just for deco. Bottom row is journaling prompts. And middle is food diary, workouts, and uh, hydration. So for my hydration stickers, um, I have some that I printed myself using Canva. I don't have a video for this. It's really easy though. You can check out any of my making sticker videos. I always use Canva for that. Um, it's super easy, but I have this beautiful like bluish green dusty set that I feel like goes with the colors in the book. I'm just going to use um, overlay tapes for my workout boxes, which are Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then I'm going to do something I haven't done in a really long time. I'm going to come to this page, one of these pages that has all these dots and um, cut them into quarters. And then what that's going to allow me to do is um, you basically it makes almost little triangles that I can use for food food diary, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. So do, but do what works for you guys, you, you guys. So I think I want to use maybe either these or these with the gold dots, I think. And if I do seven of them, that gives me one for each day. So I'm going to grab a craft knife. I'm going to grab my kiss cutting, my slightly dull craft knife and go ahead and cut seven of these in quarters. Let's use... I think let's use the slightly larger ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I need all but one. So I'm just going to cut lightly to try to cut through the sticker, but not the backing that it's stuck to. Get my glasses so I can see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting old. All right, so I'm going to grab my super pointy tweezers and speed this up while I stick all this stuff on my center section. You can see me do it in the video. These are for artificial eyelash extensions. I have a link. I have converted all my links over to affiliate links, you guys, so it doesn't cost you any extra, but I do get Amazon dips into their profits and gives me a few pennies um, for directing you to their site. So um, if you're in a for, uh, I, th those are USA links. I, I couldn't find Canadian links or any overseas links or anything like that. So, um, but I appreciate appreciate if you guys um, decide to use those. Certainly don't have to, it's no biggie. All right, there we go. Center section is all set up. So let's, next let's work on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna start with my word above keto. Just up here around the same height as the column. I'll put keto on there. And this in the original wellness planner, what said exercise, I change it to keto um, just because that works better for me. So let's go ahead and put overlay tapes over top of my words then. And the whole point of the overlay tape, so I am an affiliate, uh, a PR rep for the first six months of, of 2022 for Girl Boss Anna. Um, and they're called overlay tapes because they're made so that the black printing shows through them like so. So I don't know if you can see that. 
how I spent time unplugged. So we'll slide this right up under Keto. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and put these over the, oh, I'm going to put it over my prompts here. It's so pretty. I love that splash of color. I mean, it like literally is a splash of color. There we go. All right, so let's go up from the bottom then, and that way we maximize the amount of space I have for filling that in. I've been whiting this out this, this week's list, um, but it's so hard to see in this purple color that I'm not even going to worry about it this week. So for watching, we finished the Olympics um, and we have started watching, we love British baking, um, great British, British baking show and we're caught up on it. And then we, we, so we found the Canadian, great Canadian baking show and you guys, it's from the same people. So um, all the music is the same. Um, the the challenges are the same it's really awesome the judges are different and the comedians like the commentators the hosts are different but they have the same feel it's really got the same feel so if you like great british baking i highly recommend trying the canadian version because it's just it's got that same happy good feeling vibe that makes the british baking show so much fun to watch for feeling I have so relaxed, for listening to, I honestly, guys, it's spring. I have been just letting the birds talk to me lately. Um, I filled up the bird feeders and they're doing great. I um, am currently reading the fourth book in the spread series by Ian Rob Wright, the British author, which I love. I love the British turns of phrase and spelling and everything. It's so different. Um, it's called The Road and there's a fifth book coming out um, in a couple weeks. So I'm excited to move straight on into that one. And then for positive word, I chose Adventurer. So since I came down from the top and up from the bottom, that leaves me the maximum amount, amount of space here for this open-ended prompt, and I don't have to guess at how much space to leave myself. So functionally, that is everything. And I do always save this top row of boxes for deco and encouraging words, that kind of thing. So we're gonna go into the book to fill out, to find the rest of that stuff. So I definitely want something with a big cat. I like to layer square and round together. There are two copies of every page in this sticker book. And so I try to use um, everything off of one page so I have a full set of the other stickers whenever I can. If size really mattered, the elephant would be king of the jungle. That's super cute. And it, since I don't have any washi tape, I can fit a bigger square sticker like this in there. So let's put this, I'm thinking over here. So it's kind of midway between these two quotes. Um, so I'm just very, very lightly going to park it right there. And I like to layer, like I said, a square with round. So let's look for something round, like maybe some spots to layer under it. Yeah. Let's, let's grab this spotted sticker. Oh, it's really cut, kiss cut deep. Okay. So if I bring this, those two are both up high. So let's bring this one down low. Let's bring it right down to the bottom and then layer this kind of underneath the corner. There we go. Cute. Oh, I don't have a, a scale. Um, let's see if there's just a flag, a relatively plain flag of some sort in here that I can write on. I thought I saw some. Here we go. Can I write on one of these? A lot of them have foil. This one doesn't. And if I write with a black pen, I think it'll show up just fine. So let's use that one. 
just weigh in once a week, anything more than that, and you'll drive yourself nuts. Okay, let's look for, we want square, circle, let's look for circle, square, maybe right there. Maybe this time we'll pick a circle that has a saying on it. Let's explore. Yeah, let's go with, so this, I mean, you see stuff like just for you and to and from in these books. Um, they're meant to be um, kind of multifaceted. So they're not planner per se. They're any kind of paper crafting. This says wild about you. I like that. So let's look for a little square sticker then to layer it with. Oh, here we go. What about the Monstera leaves? That's cute. Yeah, let's, is that going to fit? It's going to be tight. That's okay. So if I go wild about you down in this corner and bring them on, yeah, that'll fit. No problem. There we go. All right, that side's basically done. I mean, the only other thing I could do would be to maybe put one little word right there. Wild thing, the best. I could put the best on there. It's black, so that I don't have much in the way of black over there. Just to kind of connect these two clusters. So it's just kind of like a meandering path, you know? Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's build something similar over here. So let's do, since I've got square right across the spine, let's do big round right there. I think my only big round stickers are right at the front of the book, but just double check. There's half circles I can come back and grab too. Okay, so I want this guy. I don't have a cat on there yet, so I want, I want this guy on there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is World Wildlife Day. I should have some of these on there. Speaking of, let's see if there's a teeny tiny one we can find for this page. I'm just going to park this here. I guess I could park it. Let's start this one up here. Since that one's down, let's start this one up. Okay, so I think the page where I cut these circles in quarters had some teeny tiny little cats on it. Yeah. Let's put one of these guys. I mean, I, I it's World Wildlife Day. And my spread is about that. And I don't have any cats in here. Now what's up with that? Let's put it there. Okay. Let's look for a square one to put with that. Or something with corners. It doesn't have to be square. Like this is cute. This stripey one. Let's just let's just go with it. It caught my eye, let's do it. Okay, and then if we continue kind of like our meandering, maybe we'll find, we can look for something all the way down here. Another one of these slightly smaller stickers. Oh, or how about one of those half circles? That'd be good. If I can't, there they are. What do we got? I like this one. I like this one with all the different leaves on the black background. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Okay. The only problem is it's leaving me with words right next to each other, but I, I, I can live with that. Let's go with something with corners again right here. It could be happy life, take note, love you, remember, any of those. Those kind of have corners. I have one there. Okay, is there one here? How about love this? It's on the cream background. Yeah. And then I still feel like I could do something with corners there. Those are kind of big. The plan right now, this week, the world is a jungle. <laughs> That's good. And it's got the spots. Animal Kingdom. Ooh, I like that too, for some reason. I like that. Love this Animal Kingdom. All right, it's definitely something square for there. 
Maybe another cat. Um, another, like, was there a big, big one back here? There's that one. I will use my second copies if I need to. Oh, here we go. But I don't think I need to. Oh, look at both of these guys. Oh, I love it. I like this one because he's facing that way and it looks like he's looking back, surveying the, the rest of the week, you know? I want him to touch. Again, I'm building like a little meandering path. I think I want to try to stick it under that corner. There we go. All right. So I just need something down here. A half of a circle or a small circle, something. Some, oh, what about one of these spotted ones? Let's put this one down there. Again, I want to sneak it underneath though. There. I like it. I like my little meandering path. It's cute. I feel like I have way more cat on this side than on this side, but um, I think that'll, that's okay. Look at that guy, so cute. I mean, I really don't want anything quite that big. But the only thing I could do would be to put a, a couple more small ones on there. There. Aw, the lovebirds looking at each other. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I could keep going, but I'm not gonna. So let's put it in my planner. Now it's going to look a little odd because the discs I have are very kind of minty blue, but green is green. I love green. I don't discriminate between shades of green. So there we go. You guys, there is my, um, jungle green spread in my wellness and fitness planner in honor of World Wildlife Day on the 3rd. Um, I just love animals, innocent souls. How could you not love animals? So anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to have some fun with your spreads and maybe try a wellness and fitness journal. Uh, if you do, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.